uh, boy, this guy, he is like Mr. Oakland County. Let's say hello to Marty Nolenberg, co-owner of Sedona Tap House Restaurant and, of course, former state rep and state senator from the 41st District. A lot of people uh, know you, uh, Senator Nolenberg. Thank you very much for joining us here on the Megacast. Good to have you with us today. Well, th- thanks for having me. I, I appreciate uh, sharing my thoughts. Well, I appreciate you having us with us uh, and uh, just getting an update of what's going on with you and the many different things you're involved in. I always ask everybody when they first come on the show, how are things going You're in your office or your home? Everything okay with you? You know, it's a, it's a crazy world that we live in, and we're just trying to make the best of it. Um, we have two locations, one in Troy. Uh, we are providing curbside service there and you know, we're doing the best we can with that. Our second location um, is in Novi, and we're in 12 Oaks Mall, and because the mall is closed, you know, we're closed over there. So we're just trying to manage it, and we're waiting for the mall to reopen. We're waiting for the governor to allow us to provide sit-down full service. And, you know, right now for us, it's kind of a waiting game, and uh, we're doing the best we can with what we have. So the Marty, the Michigan, if you don't mind me calling you Marty, the Michigan uh, Restaurant Association uh, did something a little bit different than a lot of the other associations. Rather than waiting for the governor to tell the restaurant and and bar industry and uh, uh, exactly how to do things, they put together a set of plans and sent them off to the governor asking for restaurants to be opened up around the end of the month. Do you have any thoughts on that? You know, I, I think the concern that the association has is some of her executive orders have been inconsistent, you know, throughout this whole process. And, and you know, the hope, I think, I hope what the governor gets out of that push is that she's reasonable in allowing us to be able to open in a timely manner. I mean, I, I'll give you an example, and it's a little off topic, but, you know, I've been to Home Depot several times in the last few weeks, and I go in there with my mask, I got my gloves on and very careful. And, you know, when you, when you purchase your item, um, one of the things that bugs me is, you know, there's no hand sanitizers for you to wash your hands after you've, you know, uh, you know, played with the register. And, you know, as a restaurant owner, I take some offense to that because, you know, we have, we're going to have hand sanitizers throughout the restaurant. Um, we're going to be cleaning our tables, our chairs, bathrooms, anything that people touch constantly. And so we're going through all these processes to keep our place clean. I feel like, you know, some of these other establishments like Home Depot and some of these grocery stores, they don't provide, you know, the care and the safety that is required, yet we're going to be required to do it. And, and so my hope is that the governor is reasonable in terms of what we're allowed to do and not do. And to be able to open up at 25 percent, it's probably impossible to, to make to make it work. So it, if that is yeah. the it, Marty Nolenberg, uh, co-owner of Sedona Tap House Restaurants here, a couple of them in our area. If that is the case, is that going to work for you and the other restaurants? If you can get open around the end of May, maybe early June and to get your doors open and and even if you you can then you can have your carry out and you can only have 25 percent capacity is that going to at least get you guys back on your feet you and the other operators around uh, the state of michigan uh to at least uh, help out a little bit it's going to be tough i mean it's going to be tough to make it at 25 percent i mean I, I'd, I'd rather see 50 percent or 75 percent and i think we can provide you know, all the safety that's required of our guests and our employees at a greater capacity than 25%. And it's going to be a case by case situation. I mean, it's, we're going to have to evaluate it. And, um, you know, we have to be flexible in terms of what we need to provide. But for me right now, for us, you know, we need certainty. We want to know what the governor is going to expect from us so that we can provide, if we have to buy things, we have to start buying them now, because it's not like, they're going to be readily available. If, if she said you can open tomorrow and you have to do 20 things, we need that preparation to be able to provide and do those 20 things. 
So, you know, we've got legal battles going on all over the place, and I really try to stay out of the political stuff in this show. We're just trying to, you know, talk to our friends in the community and, and share information. And I, I, By the way, I pr- really appreciate you coming on the program and, and chatting with us, but I, I can't have you here without asking you uh, what you think uh, about this lawsuit that the legislature has uh uh, has uh, brought up and and suggesting and, and, and suggesting that it's illegal that the governor's orders that are out there right now is that something that if you were uh, back in the Senate uh, that's something you would sign on with Marty Nolenberg? You know, I think it, it certainly is a quagmire. There's, there's there's two different laws that the governor and the legislature are disputing. Um, but but that aside, I'm not a lawyer. I'm not an expert in this. I think the the court will have to the judge will have to decide, you know, which which law is most relevant. Um, I, I am concerned though that the governor. It seems like, you know, she doesn't want to partner with the legislature, and you know she's making all of these executive orders without input of the legislative body who've been elected by, you know, people their constituents, and they had no say in the matter. I think initially. The legislature felt, okay, the governor, you know, she's got to act quickly. Um, and, and she, you know, they allowed her to do that. She had the authority to do that. But now that it's been two and a half months later, it seems like she's trying to, you know, uh, not include the legislature. And so that that's a concern that I have. And and it's unfortunate that, you know, they, there is this squabble. That's not helpful for anybody. And I guess I wear my business hat. You know, I just want to do the right thing for my employees, the right thing for my guests, and whatever that looks like, I just need to have that certainty so we can provide all the safety, you know, for my guests and my my employees. And uh, I get it. My biggest concern is what what does that look like? I get it. Marty Marty Nolenberg joining us. I get it. And it's a really tough deal. You know, it's tough because... You know, she's saying we don't want to take a chance. Uh, we want to make sure that we continue to keep everybody in the state of Michigan safe. And restaurant owners such as you are saying, hey, we could do this safely. Give us a chance. Let's see what happens. Um, it's going to be interesting. I think we're going to learn an awful lot about where we're going over the next couple of weeks now that manufacturing has been opened up, and we'll see how that goes. And and I think that's really, uh, given her the benefit of the doubt for a minute, I think that's really what, what she's counting on. Let's do it one step at a time, see how things go, and if the numbers stay solid, then we're just going to keep going down that road. So I, I know it's tough, and... And, uh, you know, I, I feel really bad for you and the other restaurants because, you know, Marty, what, whether you like it or not, you guys, you know, you and the hair salons and the casinos, the places where people are going to, you know, you're taking the brunt of this. And, and an argument could be made that, well, it's really not much different at what's going on in your places than is going on in retail and grocery stores. So, you know, I get that. It's it, it's tough, though, isn't it? It, it is tough. And, and, and I. I... I'm glad I'm not in that position myself. And, and, um, you know, it, 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 um, I think she's trying to do the right thing, but, you know, unfortunately she had been inconsistent in some of her orders. And I think that's where she got into trouble. Um, and, and, and she's lost some, some of her credibility as a result of that. And, and, and so my hope is that, you know, she'll trust the restaurant industry. You know, we are already one of the safest places, um, to do business, we're highly regulated both at the state and the county level, and 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 we will we go over uh, uh, over and above what we're required to do, and we will continue to do that, and and so hopefully the governor will recognize that and. Um, I'm glad I'm not in her, in her shoes. Well, you know, I appreciate that because, you know, you clearly are on the other side of the aisle from the governor. And, and you know, I, I appreciate you you saying here on the show that you understand the challenges that, that she has. And I, I think anyone, if they're really being honest, regardless of what they feel about the decision she's made, have to understand that it it's an incredibly tough job to try to, you know, 
uh, do this and, and tangle this whole situation and now even harder to untangle it. So uh, I, I appreciate you saying that. Well, I got to go. On behalf of all hungry, bad cooks, we hope that you guys get your restaurants open. I mean, the only thing good personally about, uh, and I feel bad to say this about this thing, is that I, I've saved a lot of money over the past couple of months because I'm in a restaurant or a, an establishment almost every day because I'm the worst cook ever. So Marty Nolenberg, I cannot wait till the Sedona Tap House restaurants in uh, Novi and, uh, and, and in Troy are open. And uh, best of luck to you, and thanks for joining us today.